confidence. Yes, sir. And it's written in red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, that makes us want to heighten our attention to what's, what's being said. Oh, and we know it's Jesus. So, Luke chapter 16, verse 19. We'll, we'll begin there. In the first word, it reads, there, were, there was a certain rich man yeah. which was clothed in purple and fine linen uh -huh. and face in fair substances leave every day. I said that word earlier. <laughs> so, subconsciously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, mm -hmm. which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. We can stop there. Mm, thank you. Amen. As you see, we started off and said there was a certain rich man. Mm -hmm. yeah. didn't mention the rich man's name. Mm -hmm. Certain. Certain. <laughs> That mean it could be many. Yes. Then, which was clothed in purple and fine linen. Uh huh. And was spared sumptuously. That means he was had expensive yeah. stuff. He had the Gucci. Mm. Lots he, had, he had that. If he was a woman, he'd have the, those red boxes. <laughs> right, you know, he had that nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted, and he had it every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Yeah. I'm going to name this one. This, this, this lesson. Earthly, rich, heavenly poor. All right. <laughs> Amen. All right. Lazarus, which was laid at his gate and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sword. And it came to pass when he, the beggar died and was carried by the angel. The angel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we know what happened. Yeah. Jesus, this is Jesus talking. And he, he did 40 parables. This is not the curve. This is Jesus talking. It's right after the curve. But this is Jesus speaking on stewardship okay. and material. Material things. Yeah. Stewardship. stewardship. This is Jesus speaking on giving an illustration of the rich man and his material. Mm -hmm. So he was carried to Abraham's bosom, heaven, that is. The rich man also died and was buried. Uh -huh. Now, and then, and in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and see Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Come on. So we can see that even in the grave, you can see, you can look. His movement. The rich man looking up and see Abraham and laughing. And, and he kicked and he cried out and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. He put Lazarus to work even after death. He he knew Lazarus laying at his gate. Yeah. But even even after death. He put Lazarus to work. That he may dip 
the fingertip of his finger into water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Yeah. Abraham said, son. Now, this might mean that Abraham was a descendant, he was a descendant of Abraham, because we can obviously see he wasn't a son spiritually. Because he didn't live his life. So he said sons, I mean he was a, more than likely a descendant, like blood. That thou in thy lifetime received the good things. And likewise, Lazarus, evil thing, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Yeah. It's a bad thing when you can go walk through this life, and we can go through all kind of hell. Wow. And then we turn around and die and go to hell. you All you have to do is accept Jesus. Yeah. All you have to do is ask Jesus to direct your steps. Yes. To act to Jesus to direct your decision. To not be selfish. Now, what happened with the rich man, he had selfish decisions which allowed him to enter into a future of torment. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from it to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from this. It's too big of a place between us. We can't get to us. We can't get to you. And he said, I pray in hell. <laughs> Be therefore, Father, that thou would send him to my father. Now he asked him to send him. He didn't say who him is. But we know. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. So let them know not so they won't do the same mistake I did. Right. Yes, Lord. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. See, that's the prophets. Let them, let them hear them. Yeah. And he said, Nay, Father, mm -hmm. Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they would, they would repent. And Moses, I mean, and he said unto him, If they hear not Moses, and the prophet, Come on, yeah. neither would they be persuaded through one rose from the dead. Amen? Amen. There, there is a lot of meat right there. You know, Jesus got a rose on the third day and they still don't believe it. It's, it's a lot of people that's walking through life and they just looking for self. They just not looking or listening to what says the Lord. 430 years between Abraham and Moses in the Bible. 430 years. Yeah. So this had to happen somewhere in between. He directed him. He's letting him know Moses is on the way. And prophets. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God. If you don't if you don't listen to the word of God, what make you think if I if I we send somebody from the grave and tell them Come on, that they'll listen? We yeah. as, a, as Christian doing this Christian journey, we have we have our own stewardship. God has given us God has given us gifts. He's given us the gift of life. Yes. Free. Yeah. And all we have to do is be better students of our life. How we live. I would rather, what is it? When I say uh, earthly rich, heavenly poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
on earth, the rich man was looking good. But his soul wasn't looking good. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> he was just stepping past the bed. Mm -hmm. So, what I got out of this is, I'd rather be a beggar for food on earth on, than a beggar for water. In hell. In hell. In hell. In hell. Yes. Exactly. We, we, our decisions impact our future. Amen. And I'm not talking about our material future. I'm talking about our immaterial future. Spiritual future. Mm -hmm. It impacts who we spend it with. Mm -hmm. When we spend a little time with Jesus, mm -hmm. it benefits much time. We don't, we don't, we, we can stand around and sit around and plan for the future mm -hmm. as far as 401k, as far as <laughs> our retirement. Yeah. But if we don't have God in the picture, come on, man. <laughs> it don't work. Because you might not make it, it to 65. That's right. There's no guarantee that you'll make it to retirement age. Mm -hmm. right. But one right. guarantee that I'll tell you that you can make it and you more than likely will make it to. Yeah. And that's to see Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you don't want him hmm. to say, I know you not. Hmm. Right. That's it. That's you it. want him to welcome you in? Right. Well oh, done. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yes. yes. That's it. That's it. You want him to say, come on up. Yeah, just a little bit Just higher. a little bit higher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I made you steward over a few yeah. things. Mm. You know, I'm just, alive. that's what we want to yeah. hear. Yeah. Yeah. We want to yeah. hear yeah. that he welcomes us, us in. Yes, but first, we have to welcome him into our hearts. Uh, yes. We gotta work with him. We gotta, we gotta welcome him into our finances. Yes. Jesus spoke a lot on finances. Show sure up. Spoke a lot. The reason why is it's hard for it's hard for a lot of humans. It's a lot. It's hard for a lot of us to separate ourselves from our God. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a difficult decision. He spoke a lot, many, many uh, uh, parables about money. Oh. We know Malachi, money. God said Himself, I will rebuke the devourer for his <laughs> sake. Yes. He said, I will rebuke him. Mm -hmm. That's big. Yeah. Even, even from the days of your fathers. Father. Yeah. You have gone before, you have went away from my ordinance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And have not kept them. All right. Oh. What did he say? He went on to say, You robbed me. Yes. yes. <laughs> Will a man rob them? Yes. 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 So we, we know that finances on, is very, very important. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. When when Elijah was at the uh, when it was, Elijah asked the lady to make a cake. Mm. And she said, it's only a little bit for me and my son. Yeah. And he said, make me a cake. Mm. When you take care of the man of God, mm. God going to take care of you. Every time she went in, <laughs> she had plenty. She had plenty. Yeah. She had plenty. She had plenty. Yeah. She had plenty. God blessed yeah. her. Yes. It's a blessing. Yes. In taking care of the man of God. Yes. yes. It's a blessing. Yes, it is. In Following the word of God. Yes. The blessing is asking God to enter into your life. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And teach you how to love. Yes. Because we think we'll endure for a night. Yeah, but, but, joy. Joy. but Jesus do it coming in. Come on, yes. Come on <laughs> Jesus. Yes, Lord. We, we got to welcome him in. Yes. And when we welcome him in, him in we don't just sit down. Mm. We gotta stand go up. To work. We go to work. Yeah. We gotta go to work. We gotta, work. Jesus always. Jesus told him to do something. Yeah. Mm. Pick up your get up. Pick yeah. up your bed. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Go to work. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm. A man of God. Yes. Jesus. The God. The God God's land. Great land. Yeah. He mm. in with a whole lot. Yeah. To offer. Yes. He could have called up the, the legion of angels. Yeah. He yeah. could have called them up. Yeah. Prevented it all. What he said in the, when he was praying at Gethsemane. He told him, he said, uh, he told the disciples, wait for me for an hour. 
Mm. Wow. I'm going to be entered in and be prayed mm -hmm. for an hour. Yeah. 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 And he asked, he was praying and he said, Let this cup be passed me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that cup was what was coming. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he finished praying, he was praying so it was like drips of blood. He was yeah. praying. He was in there praying for yeah. an hour. Mm -hmm. yes. All of this, when he came out, all of this, like, one hour. Not even an hour, but just one hour. Yeah. See, it's a blessing when you just yes. follow yes. the instructions. Instructions. Yes. 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 Because we don't know the way. But when we call on the one that knows no all the yes. yes. That we don't have to be pressured. Right. And making a decision That's about right. where to go. All right. All right. That's why we are the sheep and we follow. Amen. Because the Bible has the sheep and they have the goat. Mm -hmm. I was delivering some milk one day and um, out in the country. Mm -hmm. I think I was out in uh, as uh, I was up in um, Conroe area mm -hmm. and I was way out there in the middle of nowhere. And I seen some, some goats, and they was in, they was behind the gate. Mm -hmm. And I went into the store. Next thing you know, all the goats was by my truck, <laughs> looking at me like like what you doing here? Unruly. <laughs> just just out, just out the gate. And I'm like, how did they get out? I'm like, but that's what the Bible means when it says the the, 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 the sheep and the goat. The goat right. is not gonna follow nobody. Right. Mm -mm. The goat all up in all up in the truck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, I'm like, is this goat gonna attack me? Uh, pretty big goat. Uh, uh. But the goat was out of what it's supposed to be. The, the owner, the, the steward of the goat, had the goats in the pen, had the, a nice fence, a fence around. The goat all in the all in the store. Yeah. Both of them. It was like two or three of them. When when we sheep follow the shepherd. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. The sheep trust the shepherd. Yes. The sheep loves the shepherd. Yes. The shepherd knows the sheep's voice. Yes. Jesus is our shepherd. Uh -huh. Yes. And we follow Jesus. Yes. And he, when yes, we call sheep. on the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. he can hear the sheep's call. Mm -hmm. He knows one by one. Mm -hmm. He knows name by name. Yes. He's Mary's baby. Yes. Uh -huh. He's Matthew's king. Uh -huh. He's Mark's suffering servant. Yes. Y'all yes. know him, don't you? Yes. yes. Right. He'll walk with us. Yes. He'll talk with us. Yes. He'll put his arms around us. Yeah. He'll yeah. call us his own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have to live a life like the rich man. That's right. Come we on. can live a life that we can just be able to put all of our trust in and God. our faith yeah. in God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And what yes. God say to do, we do. Amen. We don't have to have no Red Bull experience type of love. Life. We don't have to have no Red Bull experience type faith. Because yeah. we know Red Bull will not get us over. <laughs> we can have that pure lambs, the blood of lambs. Blood love. of the yeah. lambs. Yeah. We, can, we can have real love that we can experience. It. Amen. Because he died. And through his stripes and through all those wounds that he took, yeah. whatever medically happens in this body, we can call on the Lord and every lick that he took, Amen. the doctor won't understand it. But the God, the God we love will fix it. And he'll make it where we can have our own testimony. It won't just have to be from Reverend David. It can be from the sisters. Y'all can have y'all own testimony. And in your, and in your testimony, you won't lose weight. In your testimony, you won't be older. Oh in your testimony, you're going to earn some energy. Yeah, in your yeah. testimony, people lift you up. Yes, Amen. You won't, might not be 25, but you'll feel 25. 25, yeah. Because yeah. in your testimony, you, God will make sure yes. that you won't lose no time. Yes. Earth. yes. He'll add to you yes. what you didn't have. Yes. So he'll be able to do what he has for you. Amen. 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 We know that Jesus died. But he got up on the third day uh -huh. with all power of heaven and earth yeah. in, in his head. Yes, and we don't have to be victim or a slave to anything. Uh -huh. 
that we have power to call on the name of the Lord. God bless y'all. Amen. Amen.